Today we're going to absolutely destroy cows, because every few seconds we get a free one and then we can smash them together to make super cows. So if we put two super cows together we get a mega cow. And apparently that one's special, um, I guess the more co cows we have the more coins per second we get. The more coins per second per get the more upgrades and stuff we get, so what if we put a basic cow with this one? Nothing. I think these are pretty special in themselves and that they lay eggs. So with those two we're up to 9 coins a second now. We smash that one into that one, actually we can put these two together can't we? Hyper cow. I can already see this is going to be horribly addicting. We're up to 11 coins a second thanks to me smashing cows together. I wonder if this works in real life, it's just no one's ever been able to launch cows together at high speeds. And for $500 we can get a tractor that collects coins while I'm away. Which now that I think about it wasn't super necessary because I'm never going to stop playing this game. So we'll just keep on smashing them together, those two go into that one, these two go into this one, and now we have two of these for the first time. These are going to make that beautiful creature, the Mammoth. And it would appear that Mammoth by itself makes 21 coins per second. These basic cows are only 0.5 coins per second. But we put them together and there's 25 total. Now, alternatively, instead of waiting for cows to be born in boxes like they are, we can buy them. That would make this process a little bit faster. So I guess it's just a matter of how many- oh, they get more expensive as they go. Well, whatever, we're gonna buy a bunch. Look at all of this now, 36.5 cows per second, plus we get all those. I wish there was an auto merger. I guess they'll kind of figure it out by themselves. I wish I could wander into each other and do it. So we put you two together, you two together, you two together. Then I think you, you two together, and we put you two, we should have two mammoths. So up to 46 coins per second, but if we put you two together, we get like a giraffe. Alpaca. And we're up to almost 50 coins per second now. Fill the evolution crate bar to receive an evolution crate. I don't know what that does, but I'm happy to find out. As long as I have stuff to click on, I'm happy. You two go together, you two go together, you guys make a nice couple. You guys make a nice couple and so do you. So we're going to go ahead and open this because we finally have it. And do we evolve that? We got a basic cow. I don't want to watch an ad to evolve that. All we got to do is go like that and it's evolved. Clearly this game thinks I'm a busy person. I've got nothing but time to evolve cows. The one complaint I have so far is there's no murder hole to throw unwanted animals into. But perhaps we'll eventually be able to make our own. We have 21,000 coins. We should probably buy some more cows. I can actually buy adult cows now. They produce 1.5 coins per second. So let's go ahead and load up on those. Then we'll once again navigate through this little disaster. It helps a lot having cows that are already at this evolution. You just kind of kind of shuffle through the mess to get to them. So there's one of you and then there's going to be two of you which means we get another one of these which means we put the two giraffe cows together and that's going to give us something never before seen a bovi. So now we're playing on like a colossal scale. But we're producing 100 coins a second now. Uh, this big thing is probably helping us out quite a bit with that. So let's see if we can make some more of those. Can we buy the next ones? We can buy Mutants already. Um, they're cheaper than the adult cows now anyway because of how many we purchased. So they'll pay for themselves very quickly because they're going to upgrade very quickly. We can already make a new one of these things. I already forget its name but I don't care. I wanted to see what this wheel would do and now we're going to get two times earnings. And we got another evolution box. I already forget what these do. Okay, we got a free one of those. That's right, we get a free one of those things. So we put those into one of these, into one of these, the alpaca. Uh, we've collected another 25,000 coins while we've been waiting because we're up to 300 coins per second. That was very quick. I felt like we were getting somewhere when we hit 100. How's our big idiot doing? He looks like he's doing fine. So we need more cows to make more money to upgrade more cows to make even more money. It's a very simple principle that I absolutely love. I forgot I could actually upgrade this stuff this whole time. So we can get faster cow delivery by quite a bit. Maybe we'll get the bonus to double your coin production for two hours. That sounds nice. Then again, we'll maybe save that for a time when we might actually need it. We're still pretty early on. We're still making good progress. I need to wait for when things kind of stagnate a little bit. But since we're here, let's probably buy some mutants because we'll be able to afford a few of those and that will get us a big cow. It's just a matter of putting them all together. It's kind of like a puzzle, which sounds stupid because it's not, but I'm kind of stupid so it makes sense. Honestly, the most efficient way to do this is just to keep ramming cows into a central location. Um... And they'll hopefully be nice enough to uh, stick to each other. Well, and I guess we have two big, big cows now. So what happens if we put these two idiots together? We go from 414 to Enormous. It's a two-headed monstrosity. So putting those two together didn't give us a huge boost. But we have one of those things now. So there's always that. I can buy hyper cows now. They're only 12,000. So if we buy a few of those, that puts our production way up. But when we combine them again, they do even better. And anytime we finish these achievements, we do get a reward of diamonds. I'm not sure what diamonds are for yet, but probably something helpful down the road. 
So now that we have three of those, we'll go ahead and put two of them together because that just makes sense. We're up to 500 coins a second. And for $10,000, we're going to take berry delivery. Delivers mysterious berries for you. Every once in a while, we're going to get one of those. I assume it's very good. Then it's just back to the grind, clicking on cows repeatedly. But it's a very addictive process. So at least this one has a friend. I think that's the first mysterious berry we've got. Uh, it turned a cow red and it's hurting it. Or something. I don't know what it's doing to it, but it's making me money, so do I care. Oh, so we want to be upgrading this as quick as we can right now. I like super clicked the cow. Okay, so these berries are going to be helpful, and now we have 55,000 coins. We have an auto merger for cows on the farm level, which we're at. So we're just going to wait a few seconds and spend $80,000. Now I don't have to touch cows anymore. I think they maybe have to be in the vicinity of each other for that to actually work, or it takes a little bit of time. I'm not sure. Oh, a magnet pulls them in every once in a while. So every seven or eight seconds, magnet appears, sucks them in, they all die. We got another evolution crate. That's not bad. That's worth evolving. And while that was happening, look at all the cows we got. When do we get our next upgrade for that? Faster cow delivery at 100,000. I want that. Uh, I feel like I need a crate opener now, but there's the magnet going. It only combines a few of them at a time, but that's still helpful. As long as they're doing something while I'm not watching, I'm happy. Then we put you together. You're going to be the lone wolf for a minute. We put you together. We put you together. And then we got another big idiot plus a berry. Oh, I shouldn't have moved those guys. I should have used the berry first because we could have we could have made him into something better. While that one's having a coin seizure, I'm going to go up here to create another one of these. And then we're going to slam these together. Which makes a dragon, Cowzilla. He's dropping eggs for 2,000 coins each. Oh, when they're gold, they're worth 2,000 each. So that's pretty good money. But now I need to know what's bigger than Cowzilla. This is going to be a long process that I'm never going to find the answer to because there's always going to be a bigger cow. We're going to have cosmic cows soon. I just realized we have $130,000 to spend. So what did I want to buy? Faster cow delivery. Thanks to our legion of cows, we are up to 812 per second. And there's another whatever this is. Give me something amazing. Not evolving that. Our berry is back, so we're going to go ahead and combine cows as much as we can, which is going to be worth a lot because we have one of these getting super clicked. We're back up to about 90,000 coins. We might take faster berry delivery, but I don't think it's worth it right now. Let's just buy some cows instead. Whoops, those two combined on their own. Let's buy one, two mammoths because that's just way quicker and that sends a big cow up into space. But we're definitely already at 1,100 coins per second and i haven't checked in the big guys i can't even remember what's up here okay we just have one dome cow and one uh dinosaur cow very soon we get to find out what cow comes after the dragon cow and we just finished combining them all and we're already back up to eighty-two thousand coins so we're gonna buy maybe some moons because they're still reasonably cheap compared to the other ones and then we'll buy a few babies and then it's time to merge them all together we're gonna pick that fruit i guess and uh I can't really, I don't know if we can combine anything into that right now. That's okay. That's still a pretty good cow to be clicking. But also thanks to my screwing around, we're up to 1,273 coins per second. That's going quickly. And that definitely means we're making money very quickly. So I'm going to buy some more hyper cows. And it's even only going to take a second before we can afford one more of those. Then we're going to click on that and combine them all. And we just sent another one into space. So we'll go mess with that in just a second. There's always cows to be combining, it's so busy. But out there in space, oh right, we still need one more dome cow. Guys, can you work a little quicker? I'm getting impatient now. And I finally fed the berry to a good cow, so that's going to make us tons of money. It's 200 per click. And that'll help get him ready for his space adventure, which he's soon to go on. Now let's buy a few mutants, and maybe a few of those while we're at it. So here we go, we get two of those together, two giraffes together, those go into space, we follow them there. We combine those together, we combine those together, and then we put our two dinosaurs together. Which makes a table cow? Musa. Musa just kind of freaks me out. But we're up to 1,547 coins per second. And I've made it far enough that it's actually going to let me buy alpaca cows. They're maybe not quite worth the money yet, but it won't be long before they are. Then I've hit that guy with the berry. wonder if I could actually use the berry like to combine him and send him into the dome cow and that would work. Probably not. So I'll just take the money for now. $157,000. I've never had this much. So let's celebrate by buying an alpaca cow, then maybe a mammoth, and then maybe an adult cow. And then I'm out of money already. Whoops. Uh, well, that was out of my hands anyway. They were just going to combine. Sometimes it's destiny. Up here in space, no one seems to be doing much of anything. But this crate rain sounds interesting. And this is what the cow rain looks like, or the crate rain. I guess it's the same difference. Oh, this is a bad time to open this. Yeah, we'll take that. I've got crates to open. Uh, we're just going to start smashing everything together. Get in the center, get in the center, get in the center. Uh, we're going to use that on that. Then he's going to be happy and evolving. And uh, so is everything else. 
Okay, great. I can actually not really keep up with all of this. And that's a good problem to have. Everyone get in the center. Evolve. Do your thing. I don't really know how you evolve, but just do it. So after all that, we're up to 2,000 coins per second. And we have about 400,000 to spend on whatever we want, which is probably going to be alpacas. Mostly because I'm getting too lazy to continually evolve them together. So you guys go together, you guys go together. That will be up to 2,300 coins per second. So that was like a 15% increase. I should probably check up on this place more because I had cows that were definitely waiting to evolve. And it turns out my cows have buried treasure for me. So what did they get for me? What did they bury for me? 105,000 coins, which isn't bad. Okay, so my crates are full. I'm going to feed him that and then I'm going to let all these hatch so they can all smash into each other. But look what we get out of an evolution crate. That's a good one because that'll soon turn into a space cow. And I just realized we have... $550,000, so let's buy some more alpacas. Maybe just one more. I just like them because they're so easy, because you send them to space basically instantly. And then you go to space to combine them into the next monstrosity. I can't wait to see what comes after Table Cow. I was getting impatient, so I spun the rainbow wheel again for a three times bonus. We're gonna do it again. So hopefully this time we get four times. Which means that long story short, we're now up to 5,500 coins per second. And we got a free boring cow. Uh, you know what? We'll just continue clicking on crates. We'll mostly let the cows do their own thing. That magnet will take effect. We've hit almost a million coins now. Okay, we're up to 1.2 million coins. So now that this stressful rain is gone, we're up to 5,880 coins per second. But we need to check space. We're not quite where we need to be, but we're close. I'm maybe going to buy a berry delivery, an extra berry type, just to move that along. Um, we could put them together quicker for 800,000. I don't think that's worth it. I think basically what we want to do is buy a bunch of mammoths. Basically as many as we can, something like that, and then one of these. Oh, we're maxed out. I see the problem. Uh, we do have a cherry thing over here, so we're going to give it to him. And then we're going to send him to space, because I want to see if that car it does carry over. Great. We're going to be combining a super new cow in this red zone. Look at that thing. Long cow. Yeah, no kidding. I gotta remember to do that again, because that's worth a lot of money. Now we gotta deal with all these little idiots again. And we just sent another one to space. We're up to 6,878 coins per second. That's a long ways from where we started. And I can even buy bovis now, which are the uh, dome cows, for 200 and something, 300, 400 thousand dollars. That's still probably worth it. Because just look at them all, that put us up to almost 10,000 coins per second. Then as we combine them, that value is only going to go up and up and up. So there's another flat cow. We'll buy some more bovis as soon as we can afford it. At 10,000 coins per second, it won't take long. And since we have 500,000 right now, let's buy some hyper cows because they're still pretty cheap compared to everything else. We found a yellow one. What do you think this does? How do I get in there to the good cow? Everyone else move. Do they, do they, do they give coins when they evolve? Oh, let's chase them down to the dome cow. Take one of you. I don't know what that did really, but it seemed good. Something was good because we're back up to 3.7 million. So we're going to buy some more bovis, as many as we can afford. So let's put them together as much as we can. I need two alpacas, basically, which is still going to work just fine. Now we use this yellow fruit on that one to make him super. And then we're going to send him to space where he's going to combine with, whoops, Whoops, you, who's going to combine with 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 you. Then we get like a sunflower cow, the Dairy Daisy. And that pops out 40,000 per coin. We're up to 12,300 per second. So you definitely can do a bit of strategy to this. Like if you wait for the fruits like I do and then give them the fruit and then uh, upgrade them super quickly. Yeah. And we can even buy Enormous now. This one's pretty tempting. Crate quality. Deliver better quality cows. $5 million, that's got to be worth it. Then for 10 gems, I can increase the chance of cows. So now when we open these, we have a chance for at least the tier 2 cows. It's not guaranteed, but every one that we get is actually a substantial increase. So I'm going to do my best to plot this out again so I can upgrade things rapid fire. Which means I need another dome cow, which are very expensive right now. We need a few of those for sure. Maybe one of those. Because once we get an upgrade going, we want to be able to continue along the upgrade chain. So we have a dinosaur... Even that's probably close enough. We'll get tons of money even if we just do that. And look what I got out of an evolution crate, a dinosaur cow. We also have another yellow fruit sitting there, and I think that's going to come in handy if we do it right. So I really just want to have enough pieces sitting on the ground that if I kind of add one of everything, we can just skip along very quickly. Which means I need one bovi, because if we bring a bovi in, it can mix with the two-headed cow, which I think turns into the dragon, which I think turns into the table. I think I've got that right, but I might be screwing that up. Only one way to find out. 
So now I need to buy one alpaco, two alpacos, and I need to get this party started on... Uh, never mind, they took them to space already. Almost like they know what I'm doing. Okay, we're going to buy two more alpacos. This time we're going to be a little bit quicker. We're going to give you that, and then we're going to give you that, and then we're going to follow you guys to space. Then we're going to combine the two yellow ones. Get over here, please. Then where's the other alpaco? Then into the... Uh, into you and then into the table. Did I lose the power up already? I forgot about the tall cow. So we're gonna buy a bunch of enormous, like a lot of them, just because we can. And those are gonna combine into every kind of thing we might need, uh, except for we're already out. Wow, things get so expensive. So let's get much faster cow delivery. Uh, I haven't been paying attention for a while apparently because we're up to 24,000 coins per second, which is a lot. Uh, I'm going to do the evolution bar again. I haven't loved it so far, but it can help. And I'm also going to make the cow bang it work faster. I'm going to try my stupid plan again by giving you the alpaca and then we're going to go to space. But then I think I also need to borrow. I've already missed my opportunity, I can tell. But whatever. We're making lots of money up here. So if we combine you two, we combine you two, then you two, then you two, and you two. And then we get to find the new cow. Oh, we're going even bigger now. World domination. We have Betsy. Betsy, the conqueror of worlds. And you're giving me 40,000 per coin and we got something new. So apparently we can trade cows for rubies. I don't know what rubies do. We can also buy Cowzilla for 2.1 million now, which is probably worth it. Long story short, 28,000 cows per second. Oh, there's also an alien planet now where we instead collect stuff here. What are the treasure chest? No, I don't want that. I want cows. Okay, we're now dealing with alien cows as well. They make me rubies. I guess that's just the currency here on this planet. I don't really know. We have more cows to deal with. Did you know you can click on cows to get them to give you stuff? I had no idea. Which makes me wonder if I can be clicking on this idiot for big money. Yep, I sure can. I could have made this whole process a lot easier. So that's pretty annoying. Uh, let's buy some more cowzillas to try and make up for that. And then alpacos. Okay, we're already full because we have too many idiots back on Earth. Because they can't get themselves out of a box. I also have my second cow on Mars, so if you put them together, we get a Super Mars cow. And then I got a third one, but we're going to need more rubies to be able to afford any of these. And given that we're kind of down to a slow spot back here on Earth because we're waiting on crates and baby cows, we're going to have to let this run for a little while. So next time, we'll have a cow that conquers the entire universe.